Back in 2011, NASCAR switched from leaded fuel to E15, 15% ethanol. And at Joe Gibbs Racing, we went from basically never having to rebuild carburetors to having to rebuild carburetors after every race. And it was while the carburetor was in storage that the ethanol impacted the metals in the carburetor, which changed the performance of the carburetor, which is why we had to rebuild them after every race. And so why do we see these issues with ethanol and our carburetors? It's because ethanol is a type of alcohol. In fact, it's grain alcohol, which can be derived from corn. So depending upon the type and concentration of the oxygenate ethanol, oxygenated fuels can corrode fuel system metals such as zinc, magnesium, aluminum, and steel. Doctors Costa and Spikes studied the effects of ethanol on tribofilm formation in engine oils. And they found two interesting things. Adding ethanol to the oil reduced oil film thickness and the addition of the ethanol to the oil delayed oil film formation. So it was a double whammy adding ethanol to the oil. And that correlates with what we've seen here at Speed Diagnostics. When there's a higher level of fuel dilution, ethanol in the oil, wear is higher. Personally, I'm avoiding ethanol blended fuels for anything that has a carburetor or marine applications.